Hey friends, welcome back to the Call to Lead podcast. So this week's episode is a continuation of the series where we are rolling out the core values for our brand new company, Restore Collective. So go back and catch up if you're like, wait, what the heck? (laughs) What is this? Or you might be listening to this even years down the road and want to learn more about the foundation and why we created Restore Collective. And so that's what this episode is going to be all about is the next value, which is diversity. So I'm going to be sharing the three reasons why we decided to choose this word and all it means as a foundational value with our business. Let's dive into the episode. All right, so we're going to kick this episode off as I have with the others with sharing the verse from scripture that we feel best reflects our heart when we use whatever word it is. So this week's word diversity has a lot of diverse meanings and there's a lot of the different capacities of why we chose that word that we're going to talk about today. But the verse in particular that really spoke to mine and Roger, my husband's heart, when we were coming up with these core values is from Revelation 7, 9, which says, After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, every tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And so this picture and this visual is, you know, definitely Revelation is one of those crazy books, if you haven't read it in the Bible, that can lead to probably more confusion than answers. But I absolutely love this visual and this picture of what our world could look like standing before the throne of our God. And just like this beautiful imagery, regardless of what you believe, this is our heart that Restore can truly be for all people. And that our customer base, our partner field, our advocates can truly reflect this amazing world that we live in. So, of course, we are going to be starting in the United States and hopefully Canada shortly thereafter with our partner program and selling to both of those countries right out the gate. But we envision this being a global company that is hopefully going to reach countries year after year across the world that span different languages, span different cultures, different skin tones and races, and all of the things that make up our beautiful, diverse world. And so we, from the get-go, are going to do our best to foundationally create systems and even our packaging with certain key language aspects of it and basically create something that we hope and pray will serve all people right from the get-go. And so that is the broader picture of diversity, but I want to go specifically into this a little bit more into detail for the three reasons that we chose it. So the first reason that we decided to choose the word diversity and this verse in particular is essentially because we want Restore to look like the kingdom of God. We want it to not just be a bunch of people that look and think and act and feel just like Roger and I. We obviously live in the South and I'm fun and bubbly and, you know, we're, we're both white. <laughs> we're both American. We both speak English. Roger's learning Spanish. I'm supposed to be learning a little bit of Spanish. I've always wanted to speak French. But we truly want to partner with people, and maybe that's you, that don't look like us, that don't have the experience as us, that don't have the same personality as us, that don't have the same giftings, that that are different from us. And we believe that that is what makes this world so beautiful and that that's one of the reasons why we're so excited that we are not doing this alone. And the people that we are inviting in this journey, we want to be a part of helping us make sure that we're just not creating something that's going to work for us and for our family, but we're working with something that's going to work for your family and the families of the people that we want to serve across our country in the U.S., across Canada, and across the world. And so this reflection that is presented so beautifully in Revelation is really a beautiful picture of when you look outside at our world, no matter what your views on things like racial diversity or no matter where you live, what country or what part of the country or what part of the world that you live in, truly we have all been gifted with different skin tones, different skin textures, different spiritual gifts, different leadership gifts, different personality traits, and That is a beautiful thing, and we'll talk more about that in the second reason, but the first reason we chose this word, diversity, is because we truly hope that our field and our customer base and our partner program 
reflects the beautiful diversity that is in the world, not just in terms of skin color, but in terms of all of the things that make us who we were created to be. So the second reason that diversity was on our hearts for the foundational aspects of this company is tied a little bit deeper to the fact that in leadership, we each are given different strengths, different weaknesses. And this is also in the marriage, in the family. My goodness, if you've ever been a fan of Dave Ramsey, you know that he says that in every couple, there is a spender and a saver, and there's a nerd and a free spirit. (laughs) Can I get an amen for those who are like me and like spreadsheets? But also if you are like me and you will spend every dime in your bank account. And truly, we believe that we've talked about the power of family coming together, but not just in your actual family, but in your restore family or in your friendships or in your team or in your life, surrounding yourself with people who have counter strengths and counter weaknesses to what you have been given, we believe by the Lord, to serve his purposes in this world, that is what is going to make your life so much richer. And that's what's going to make things go so much better and so much smoother for you. That does not mean, however, that you won't encounter resistance. And that's been one of the crazy parts of doing this with my husband, who we are vastly different. In fact, we were just chatting with one of our founding, our new founding partner mentor, Tabitha Ruiz. I'm excited to announce that she and her awesome uh, husband, Pastor Jerry, we were meeting with them and chatting about it. And he said he likes to, or Tabitha calls him a pessimist, but he calls himself a realist. And I was like, yep, that's exactly what Roger would say. And Roger completely agreed that he would be more what I can consider you know, a pessimistic thinking, but he would consider it realistic, whereas I am optimistic to a fault. So thank God we have people like Roger and Jerry in the world to be able to help balance this out. And I can tell you that that's what's going to make this company stronger and so much more special in the example that hopefully Roger and I are creating in in terms of balancing our strengths and weaknesses. So just a perfect example of this and a quick story I'll share and a quick announcement because I'm rolling out more and more details each week as things become final in the development of Restore Collective. But one exciting update for you is we will be hosting our launch event that we will call Homecoming. And it's something that we hope to do each summer, each July, because we uh, like to say that Restore Collective was founded in July of 2024. It is based, um, our skincare features a molecule called the Renewal Molecule that was founded in July of 2012. And so we are officially going to launch this company at our homecoming event, our conference, our very first conference in Orlando, July 24th through July 27th, 2025 at the Signia Orlando Bonnet Creek. And you guys, I cannot even tell you First of all, how beautiful this hotel is. Second of all, how the incredible details are coming together already for this beautiful event that will be the launch event, but also our first conference that will be not only for all of our partners and advocates that want to attend, but something really special and different that we're going to be doing is allowing partner, like actual life partners or husbands or spouses and your entire family to come as well. So what that looks like, and it's going to look different for everybody. Some people are just going to want a girl's trip or are not going to want the hassle of trying to travel with their family. But we picked the city of Orlando and this hotel in particular because it is very family friendly. It actually overlooks um, Epcot. So we get a free fireworks show every night, which is pretty amazing there. But this hotel, you guys, is so special and it is coming together in such a beautiful way. But back to the story. It was kind of funny because as we were getting ready to sign the contract with the hotel, it can be quite the scary investment before we've even started bringing in a dollar of revenue to make the kind of commitment to putting on an event like this for hundreds of people. But Roger and I kind of went back and forth on the numbers. I, of course, have my nerdy spreadsheet over here with some projections and some calculations and trying to kind of figure out what percentage of the field might be interested. We did some polls within our focus group, which if you are not already a part of our focus group, which is where I'm sharing like I've got some product updates coming this week for you guys, definitely check out the link in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube or the show notes if you're watching uh, or listening on a podcast. But that focus group survey will get you plugged in to stay in the loop for updates. And if you connect with one of our 12 
founding partner mentors that we have announced 10 of them so far. If you connect with one of their focus groups that are all on Telegram, then you can be kind of plugged into some fun things like the, these polls. So I did some data and was looking at the spreadsheets and went over everything with Roger. And of course, I'm like, well, I mean, everyone's going to want to come. Like, there's going to be so many people there. And we're going to have this many number of partners. And, you know, I think half of them are going to be there. And he's like, okay, well, let's just style this back a little bit. He's like, what's a conservative number? And let's compare apples to apples and kind of, you know, look at the data And long story short, we wound up revising the original submission that the optimist over here had put for the number of hotel rooms and the size of the ballrooms that we needed for this. And through uh, Roger's wise planning and being proactive, knowing that we can always expand and grow into a bigger space, we decided to dial back the rooms to a number that made him just a little bit more comfortable and one that I am very excited and hope that we will exceed. But either way, this ballroom, you guys, winds up being, because there are three, well, actually, there's really four ballrooms that are at this hotel. There's so many good options. But my one that I really wanted was already taken. And so they assigned us this other big, gorgeous one that's called the Waterside Ballroom that's like, you know, it's amazing. But what's crazy is while we were there, we weren't able to see a ballroom that looked exactly like the ballroom that I fell in love with that has the most beautiful entrance and the most gorgeous like chandeliers, except it's not fancy. It's very laid back, perfectly uh, suited for our families. And it was not only available, but it's the perfect size for the numbers that we reworked and re-edited. And so while I can still be hopeful and optimistic that we will blow those numbers out of the water and because of that, we will have limited spots available for our tickets when they do go on sale, whenever we make that official, probably at the launch of the company, then you know it, it's likely that it probably will sell out. But I want to lean on Roger's conservative, wise choices so that we can make sound financial choices that will trickle down to the entire field, but still allow an amazing event at the Signia Hilton. So definitely mark your calendars for July 24th through the 27th of 2025, and we hope that you will join us for that. It's going to be so, so, so amazing. So that's a fun little tidbit and a fun little story on why we, again, chose the word diversity is we believe that each of us has been gifted with different strengths, different weaknesses, and we are so much better if we learn to lean on each other and not try to do it all on our own and lean into the diversity of the things that make us who we are. So the last reason that we chose diversity is tied to the product. So this is something I'm really excited to announce as I get ready to share a little bit more baby steps into what we're calling kind of the athleisure of makeup and skincare, which will make up the products that we are going to sell for Restore Collective. But really what's cool is if you look back here at this this visual here, if you're watching on YouTube, and I've talked about it a couple times on this podcast, this gorgeous valley and mountains that is meant to reflect the visual that the Lord gave me almost a year ago of the different fields and the, the kind of goals and visions that he has for me and my purpose and my mission here on life, regardless of whether that is with Restore or with whatever work or with whatever I'm doing. And one of those things that the Lord put on my heart was to embrace and enhance my natural God-given beauty and learn out loud and help others do the same. And so my friends, the third reason we chose diversity is I believe that so much right now out there on social media or certainly with if you have the parents of teenagers, but honestly for us as grown women, I feel like we're always trying to make ourselves something that we really aren't. We're trying, if you've got curly hair, you're trying to straighten it. If you've got, you know, brown hair, you're trying to make it blonde. (laughs) If you, you know, want to be a redhead, you can go do a redhead. And while there is freedom, which is another value that we've already talked about, in pursuing all of those things, you guys, I've been a redhead. I've colored my hair for, what, 20-something years to be a, a blonde But I am learning that when you focus on embracing and enhancing your natural God-given beauty, meaning whatever skin color you have, whether that has like a rosy red undertone or a beautiful rich chocolate brown, or whether you tan easily, or maybe you've got beautiful porcelain, fair, translucent skin, again, whatever hair color you have, whatever hair texture you have. The products that we create, we want to focus on embracing that diversity 
And we are going to create little systems that are going to help you know what to choose in order to embrace that God-given beauty gift within yourself. And so one of the ways that we're going to do that, and this is a big announcement, and it's one of our five S's that we have already rolled out to our focus group, but we will be rolling out more and more of them as we continue. But the one that I'm going to focus on today is the seasonality of our products. And so I'm excited to announce that our custom glow capsule that we will hopefully be showing to our focus group very soon. So again, make sure to to check out the link in the description and the show notes if you want to be a part of that and fill out that survey to help us. But our glow capsule, which is a, a curated, think of it as a capsule wardrobe for your makeup that is refillable and it's organized. It's so cool, but it's curated for the different color seasons. So you might have seen all the rage all online, or if you are like me and you learned from your grandmother or from your aunt, and they've been talking about their color season, meaning winter, summer, autumn, spring, and then now they've in my opinion, made it a little overcomplicated by breaking it down into 16 seasons. But it's actually really simple because it's all based on whether you are warm toned, cool toned, or neutral. And I am cool toned, but I do lean neutral, which means I can wear a lot of different shades, which is great. But if you are warm toned and naturally meant to be a brunette, but you're trying to wear warm tones, and you're dyeing your hair blonde, you might not be fully embracing who you were meant to be, who we believe that the Lord designed you to be. And while, again, there's freedom in doing and playing and and trying out new and different things, and we want you to do that too, we're not saying that you have to, you know, let your hair grow out gray like mine or that you have to go never color your hair again. That's certainly not what we're saying. But if you're like me and you want to focus more on those natural God-given gifts, things like enhancing your eye color or, you know, finding the perfect way to kind of sculpt and lift your cheekbones and add a little bit of warmth that's not going to look too much, especially if you're cool toned. That is what we're talking about. And that is what our makeup line is going to be centered around. It's going to be the everyday essentials because remember, that's what we're all about. That's our one of our uh, visions for what we want to do is to create the everyday essentials that active families use. And for us busy moms, we need and want simple, easy makeup that helps us look and feel beautiful. And one way to do that is by embracing and enhancing the God-given beauty that we've already been given by finding out your season. So we won't really be color typing seasons. We will have a color match quiz. So gone are the days of someone having to, first of all, wait to get a response on which palette they think is going to be best for them. But um, it also is going to make it really easy for our partners and advocates because we'll help guide people to the palette that suits them best based on the fact if they know their color season or if they share simple things with us like the color of their hair, even if it's not their natural color or their eye color or, you know, of course, the color of their skin. And what's cool is we will also have a neutral palette. That's what I'm wearing today. And so that neutral palette is going to be something that's going to suit pretty much anybody. So it's going to be a win-win opportunity that's going to work on a lot of different uh, different skin tones. And we'll talk more about the makeup and what's going to be in the palette in the weeks to come. But that seasonality approach is meant to tie back to the diversity core value that we are using, which is that we have all been given very specific individual traits. And I want to be able to help you embrace and enhance those for yourself, for your family. I have two teenage daughters, as I've talked about. One has very straight hair. One has very curly hair. One has red hair. One has like kind of a dirty blonde color. And to be honest, the dirty blonde, my teenager, my 15-year-old, she's already started highlighting her hair. And it does break my heart just a little bit. But of course, I allow her to enhance and do the way that she wants to to look. And she does go with like a beautiful blonde that enhances her spring 
nature. And so we tailor, of course, her makeup and her clothes, you know, towards that, which is great. But then my youngest daughter, she's a redhead. She's also a spring, which I'm a summer, which is more of a cool toned. And so I was really surprised to know that both of my daughters are actually different than I am, and they both are warm toned. And so for them, that means that they can and will be gravitating towards different colors than what I would choose for them. And I've already been playing makeup with my 11 year old and it's been so fun to watch the colors that she's choosing, which are not at all the colors that I would have or have chosen for her in the past. And so trust me, you'll have the freedom to choose whatever you want. We're not going to try to tell you what you can and should buy. That's why freedom is our core value going back to, I think that was last week's, <laughs> last week's episode. But we want you to have the choice, which you can also customize your palette. But for those of you guys who either know your season, are curious about the seasons, or you want to join me in my journey and my personal mission of embracing and enhancing my natural God-given beauty, and you want to do the same, this makeup is going to be perfect for you. So get excited. We'll be definitely sharing more updates about that with the focus group. So stay tuned for more details. So my friends, those are the three reasons that we decided to choose diversity as our core value. And just to summarize, number one, we hope and pray that Restore Collective from a customer base, a partner base, advocate, our field, everyone, we hope and pray that it looks like the kingdom of God with a diversity of looks, a diversity of skin color, a diversity of talents, a diversity of all the things, because we believe that that's what's going to make this so beautiful and a true reflection. And we will do everything in our power from our systems and our products and all of the things to be able to create that environment for it. And then number two is we believe that specifically we've been given different strengths and weaknesses that when we partner together, first with our families, but also with our teams and those around us, that we can make something more beautiful together than we could do if we were trying to do it on our own. And then lastly, we are so excited to incorporate the seasonality element into our products, into the makeup. And as we even embrace additional products down the road, we will keep that in mind that we are here to make you the most beautiful and the most simplified version of yourself and the way that God made you to be. So I'm going to wrap us up in prayer, and I'm so thankful for all of you guys who are listening on the journey of rolling out this beautiful company together. So Lord, thank you so much for the listeners that have made it through yet another core value. It's just been such a delight and such an honor to be able to hear the feedback and people who are so excited as we continue to solidify more and more details of this beautiful company that we know that you're a part of. And so we just ask that you guide the hearts of all those that are listening, that even if they have no intention of being with Restore, or maybe they've been a partner with Restore and they're listening years down the road, that you would guide them towards who they were meant to be and that they can focus on finding their unique gifts, skill sets, the the beautiful aspects of who you've made them to be. And so, Lord, we just we ask that that people know that that is our heart and that we're not trying to tell someone what they should or shouldn't do, but that we do want to sh- to give the perspective that when we focus on who we are and how we are so much better together and that the diversity of the beautiful group of people that you have created throughout this world is such an amazing thing and it's something to be celebrated and it's something that we want to celebrate here at Restore. So thank you for again for this amazing core value and for everything that you've done for us so far and in Jesus name, amen. All right guys, y'all have an amazing week. Thanks for listening.